Welcome to Lecture Online. Now let's move on to converting fractions to percentages. Well, that's sometimes a little bit more difficult and therefore we've divided it into three different types. The first type of fraction is relatively easy. If we have a fraction where the denominator is equal to 100, it is super easy. If we have a fraction that can be easily converted to 100, if we have a fraction where the denominator can be easily converted to 100, then that's relatively easy as well. In the next videos, we'll see some cases where that's a little bit more difficult to do. Let me tell you why it's so easy when we have 2 divided by 100, because what that means is we can simply take the numerator and write it as 2%, because that's really the definition of a percentage. 2% means 2 divided by 100. 42% means 42 divided by 100, and thus, 42 divided by 100 must be 42%. But what if the denominator is not 100, like 3 divided by 25? Well, I can see that 25 fits easily into 100 four times, which means if I multiply the denominator times 4 and the numerator times 4, I now have a fraction that has 100 in the denominator. What I do then is I take 3 over 25. I'm going to multiply the denominator by 4. And of course, I must do the same to the numerator. When I do that, my fraction now becomes 12 divided by 100, and now I'm ready to convert it to a decimal. Oh, not a decimal, I could, but I'm going to convert it to a percentage because any fraction that has 100 in the denominator can simply be converted to a percent by taking the numerator and putting a percent symbol behind it because 12% does indeed mean 12 divided by 100. Same here, I can take 7 divided by 10 and realize that if I multiply the denominator times 10 and I do the same to the numerator, then I get a new fraction that has 100 as a denominator. This becomes 70 divided by 100, which means that this is 70%. Here again, same example. We have 5 divided by 20, and I can see that if I multiply the denominator times 5, 20 times 5 is 100, I multiply the numerator times 5, which means that my new fraction now becomes 25 divided by 100, and that can be written as a percent by simply taking the numerator and putting a percent sign behind it. So that's the first type of conversion from a fraction to a percent. If the denominator is 100, it's very easy. If it's not 100, but it can be very easily turned into a fraction whose denominator is 100, then it's still relatively easy. And that's how it's done.